Hi, Dr. Goldberg here on our antibiotic update. We're talking today about the penicillin agents. Uh, penicillin, of course, came out in the 30s and 40s, was good against uh, a lot of organisms, but Staph aureus became resistant to it pretty quickly. Nearly 60s, we had methicillin uh, that came out along with uh, later nafcillin and oxacillin. The semi-synthetic penicillins, uh, of course, methicillin is a historical drug and now we pretty much use nafcillin and oxacillin when we needed to use a semi-synthetic semi -synthetic penicillin that's IV. Though nafcillin can cause the cure of phlebitis and interstitial nephritis, and oxacillin is, of course, metabolized through the liver, so we have to watch for hepatotoxicity. The oral agents, dicloxacillin and oxacillin, have shorter half-lives and have to be dosed uh, frequently, and it makes it difficult to, to use these agents uh, because of noncompliance. Now, as we look at, uh, and they'll continue, these agents will be continue to be used for staph infection, beta strep infection, soft tissue infections primarily, and then, of course, bacteremia or endocarditis. And then ampicillin uh, gave way to um, piperacillin, mesalicillin uh, back in the 80s, and then extended penicillins, uh, tigercillin clavulinate, piperacillin uh, tazobactam, Ampicillin sulbactam came out uh, in the 90s and gave us great extended coverage. Not only excellent anaerobic coverage uh, above and below the diaphragm, but also excellent strep coverage, MSSA coverage, and gram-negative rod coverage. Though the gram-negative rod count coverage is much better for zosin and, and timentin versus unison, uh, which is uh, fraught with some difficulty with resistance, especially for the uh, tenacious gram-negative rods, such as Pseudomonas and, and Enterobacter. All these agents are uh, intravenous. Um, the, really, the only oral uh, agent we've got uh, is amoxicillin clavulinate, which for augmentin is a workhorse oral antibiotic, very broad spectrum. Of course, problems with diarrhea uh, is, a, is an issue. All the penicillins can cause drug rash. All the penicillins can cause problems with uh, nephritis. Uh, all the uh, penicillins can cause bone marrow suppression, especially thrombocytopenia, so watch for those. Uh, and, of course, we're very conscious of side effect profile for the penicillins, but they're excellent agents when you have to cover more than one organism, so we, cover them for intra we use them for intra-abdominal infections, diabetic foot infections, when MRSA uh, is not uh, present. MRSA is present, you're not going to have any uh, efficacious uh, uh, efficacy uh, with these agents. Uh, so uh, know these agents, how to use them, uh, side effect profile. Uh, remember that uh, only anaphylaxis to penicillin uh, agents uh, will preclude me from using a cephalosporin uh, in place of these agents, though there are no cephalosporins really that have the coverage that these extended penicillins have. Uh, so Dr. Goldberg signing off for now. Thank you.